David, a draw with the black pieces against tournament leader Hikaru Nakamura. Your thoughts? Uh, I guess I shouldn't complain. Um, before the game, I mean, I play these guys so rarely, these really top guys. I wanted to give it everything. I wanted to at least make it interesting for the fans, no matter what happened. And um, it's a very interesting game. I spent far too long as usual, but uh, and I had my fair share of the chances. Apparently, I missed one big chance in particular. But um, yeah, interesting game. You took a long think in the opening, especially when he played F3. What was it? Were you surprised? What was going on in your mind at that point? Yeah. I mean, partly I was surprised, but it was a lot of calculation. Actually, I saw this, I mean, I saw at least seven or eight moves down into this variation we got in the game, and I was trying to evaluate whether I was in trouble or whether I was better. I didn't. I mean, I still don't know um, objectively what was happening. Um, I, I just had so many options on every move as well. I can throw in bishop b4 check on virtually every move. I can throw in a4 on every move. Um, I don't know why I spent so long. It's uh, inexcusable. I mean, if I had that 20 minutes later on, then I... Might have all been different, but um, yeah, I've got to change this. <laughs> Were you expecting the scotch today? No, but um, as I'm, yeah, I, I just did the commentary and I mentioned that it was top of my to look at list. For the second day in a row, my opponents played something that I just forgot to look at. So um, I was kicking myself. Part of my th long think was me kicking myself again. But uh, no, I mean, actually, the scotch is maybe one of the only places where I'm predictable these days in my repertoire. So. That must have been his thinking, and uh, I tried to surprise him as well with Queen F6, and that's why we were both <laughs> out book on move four. So, yeah. right now uh, we looked it up uh, in 2015. It seems when Hikaru was at six out of six, you played him in round seven, and then you stopped him then. And now, when he seemed unstoppable again in today's game, you had a draw. You're the one who stops him every time. Yeah, but I mean, last time he ended up winning the tournament, so we've got to make sure that that's different this time. But um, no, nah, I can't complain. Yeah, it's, it's right. <laughs> uh, David, I remember in 2015, uh, there was a little bit of um, an incident that happened at that game at the, at the very end. Is that something that plays on your mind when you play Hikaru again? Uh, you guys drew and there was a little unpleasant exchange. Tell us a bit about that. I mean, it wasn't so much as an exchange as him telling me I had terrible chess understanding. Um, I didn't get a chance to reply, but um, I don't know. I try not to think about it too much. That's always a good idea. Uh, what about last night? Battle of the Sexes, had fun? I had fun and the guys won, so double bonus. Yeah. Uh, I did get booted out after the first game though, so I was a bit upset. I did cry myself to sleep, but no, it was a good night. It was a good night. Nigel kicked you out of the team. Are you going to hold it against him? <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> All right, well, we wish you all the best for the remaining round. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Tanya.